Hey everyone, talking about Jiki Eau de Parfum by Guerlain. This is, yeah, the Eau de Parfum version, which is more recent. I believe this came out in the last couple years, but based on the original that came out in the late 1800s and still has a lot of that similar DNA, just kind of a stronger version. The notes in this one are lavender, bergamot, lemon, mandarin, orris, rose, vetiver, patchouli, vanilla, amber, and musk. So this opens to me as very aromatic, citrusy lavender. The very kind of fancy leaning sort of lavender obviously very old school kind of potpourri-ish very like powdery uh lavender not the more kind of smooth kind not the more masculine leaning kind this is marketed to women and i would say it is indeed feminine leaning as it kind of proceeds with that it progresses into like an astringent woodsy herbal rose and it's already astringent from the beginning there's definitely sort of a like cleaning spray vibe here to me Obviously it's considered a classic, I'm not trying to insult it, just that it know going into it that there's definitely a sharp, sharp kind of citrus vibe that goes along with some of that. Eventually by the dry down it becomes more of like a powdery, vanilla, musky type of scent. Overall it smells really refined and sophisticated, but in more of an aristocratic way, not like sexy or suave or modern or anything like that type of sophisticated, not like, oh yeah, wear this on a date, unless it's with like a librarian from the 17th century i don't know but uh yeah it leans mature and of the more old school variety which makes sense since it's based on the original that came out yeah in the 1800s definitely not my type of scent but if you like this type of vintage scent profile say like really old chanel fragrances that are feminine leaning and things like that and just generally ones that were popular kind of from the late 1800s all the way maybe to like the 1930s or whatever why am I acting like I'm such a fragrance historian I guess I'm just basing that on the small-ish hand ones I've smelled uh, that are that old but yeah then if you let you would probably really enjoy this if you do like that type of vintage scent it's very well done very high quality it's just I think if you are more used to modern scents if you're looking for something more unisex or masculine if you don't like powdery lavender and aromatics then skip it but if you somehow haven't tried this and you're into like vintage scent profiles yeah check it out this is 135 for 75 mil which i think is totally fair it smells very high quality very classic and especially for a girl for a girl on some of their fragrances are like almost 400 dollars for that same size so yeah not bad for them i'll put a link in the description where you can buy a bottle or a sample if you want to check it out for yourself